Hi everyone. Today, we're going to talk about something we deal with every day, but don't often think about friction. You might have heard people say, friction is a necessary evil. But what does that mean? Let's find out. So, let us first understand what friction is. In simple words, friction is the force that resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with the surface of another. Scientifically, friction is a force that opposes the relative motion or tendency of such motion of two surfaces in contact. It can be categorized into static friction, which prevents surfaces from sliding past each other, and kinetic friction, which acts when the surfaces are already in motion. Now let us come back to our question of how this friction looks to be bad as it opposes motion, yet it is very necessary in our lives. It's a necessary evil. First, let's talk about the evil side of friction. Friction can be a bit of a troublemaker. It wears out the tires on your bike and the soles of your shoes. It also makes machines and engines less efficient because they have to work harder to overcome friction. This extra effort leads to energy loss, usually in the form of heat. That's why we use things like oil to reduce friction in machines. Less friction means less wear and tear, and everything runs smoother. But despite these negatives, friction is incredibly important and beneficial to us. Let's see how. Friction is the force that stops things from sliding all over the place. Imagine trying to walk without friction. Whoa, without friction, we'd be slipping and sliding everywhere. When we walk, it is friction that helps us move forward. The friction between our feet and the ground acts in the forward direction, allowing us to propel ourselves forward. Friction helps us hold things. When you write with a pen, friction between your hand and the pen makes sure it doesn't slip out of your grip. There is also friction between the pen and the paper that allows us to write, making the pen leave visible marks on the paper. Friction is also super important for driving. The friction between the car's tires and the road helps the car start, stop, and turn safely. This happens because car wheels are designed with rubber spikes or 3D patterns which enhance their grip on the road. When a car moves forward, the friction between the wheels and the road applies a forward force on the car, propelling it forward. Lighting a match? That's friction at work too. When you strike a match, friction creates heat, which lights the match. Friction also helps in other everyday activities. When you run, friction between your shoes and the ground gives you the grip to move forward. Sharpening a pencil? That's friction too. Even opening a door smoothly relies on well-lubricated hinges to reduce friction. So you see, friction is a bit of a double-edged sword. It's necessary because it helps us in so many ways, but it's also a bit of an evil because it can cause problems. But without friction, our daily lives would be much more difficult, if not impossible. That's why we say friction is a necessary evil. It's something we can't live without, despite its downsides. It's like having a best friend who has one or two bad habits. That doesn't mean we should leave them. They're still our friend. Similarly, friction is our always our friend, despite of its all downsides. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fun 